Ayatollah Ali Khamenei, Supreme Leader of the Islamic Republic, on October 1st promised the Muslims of the world that the current generation shall witness the debacle and definite routing of the Zionist regime in Palestine. An eventuality admitted to even by some Zionists themselves, Khamenei said. Khamenei, who led the mass prayer in Tehran himself, followed up with a sermon on the occasion of the Eid al-Fitr feast, marking the end of the fasting month of Ramadan. He called on the Muslims of the world to unite so that the current Palestinian generation shall see the great day when Israel is no more. Khamenei went on to refer to Ismail Haniyeh, the leader of Hamas, as Prime Minister for the government of Palestine, and promised that the Iranian nation will never give up backing him. Khamenei praised Muslims in the world for quote shouting their support for the oppressed nation of Palestine, from east to west and even in a Europe under the angry pressure of governments. Khamenei went on to say that the world of Islam is now quote much more sensitive and motivated in the connection with the plight of Palestine. So much so that had such awareness existed when the country of Palestine was first occupied, the Zionists would have failed their occupation efforts. Marking the occasion of Iran's World Votes Day, Ayatollah Ali Akbar Hashemi Rafsanjani, Tehran's provisional Friday prayer leader, on October 2nd focused his sermon on the creation of the State of Israel, which he called the United Nations' first crime. Rafsanjani, who also chairs the Assembly of Experts, went on to note that no country has violated UN resolutions as much as Israel. Iran does not officially recognize the State of Israel, and Iran's President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad has in the past called for Israel to be quote, wiped off the map. He has also called the Holocaust a myth. Such remarks have drawn widespread criticism from world leaders, and Ahmadinejad was met with wide-ranging protests last week in New York, where he participated in the United Nations General Assembly.